Okay, we've reached the final stage. We're putting the full Model S Plaid powertrain into Model 3. We have the full tri-motor setup, 1,050 foot-pounds of torque, 1,020 horsepower, and the car only weighs 3,800 pounds. What's going on, YouTube? Today, we're going to be talking about putting the Tesla Plaid powertrain in a Model 3 and what that might look like. There's a part one to this video, but I kind of left you guys hanging because I didn't actually increase the peak power or torque. I was just fiddling around with power curves and weight. Uh, so today I'm going to fix that and we're going to talk about increasing power and torque and seeing what kind of results we get. So let's pick up where we left off. So on the screen here we have a Model 3 performance uh, with a power curve of what it looks like today. So you can see there's a lot of drop off. Um, we're making 510 foot pounds of torque up until about 5000 RPMs and we're making 520 peak horsepower at around 6000 RPMs. So this car weighs about 4070 pounds curb weight so what we did is we made this power curve flat so it looks like this makes over 500 horsepower to maximum rpm like the model s plaid and then we've gone ahead and stripped out about 250 pounds of curb weight cool so i'm going to show you guys a drag race real quick between this hypothetical plaid model 3 we just made so it has 3800 pounds of curb weight and a flat power curve, but we did not adjust torque output or power output. We just changed those two things. So let's see how it does against a uh, Model 3 performance today. Today's Model 3 performance. So you can see um, a zero to 60 of 2.8 seconds for the plaid versus three flat. And then the trap speed, massive difference because we don't drop off power, 128 miles per hour versus 117. And we're dipping into the tens in the quarter mile. Cool. So let's start up in the power and seeing where we get with this thing. So in the first version of this hypothetical Model 3 Plaid, we're going to just take the Model S Plaid front motor um, and we're just going to put it in the front and the back of this car. So that motor makes, I think it's 470 Newton meters of torque, which is equivalent to 347 foot pounds. Um, and so as you can see, this car makes 695 foot pounds total. And we're going to see what this thing can do. It's going to be fast. I loaded up this hypothetical Model 3 Plaid um, with the increased power and torque against the Model 3 performance. And let's see what it does in a simulated drag race. So yeah, we can see crazy 0 to 60, 2.2 with rollout uh, subtracted. And it's just going to keep pulling for the quarter mile. And yeah, 9.78 at 142. It's crazy fast. So let's talk about final drives uh, real quick. So... The Model 3 performance right now has a final drive ratio of 9 versus the Model S Plaid, which has a final drive ratio of 7.5, and this is in the front and rear. And so a way to think about this is if you had, let's say, a round number like 100 foot-pounds of torque coming out of the motor, this final drive will multiply that torque by the number, so a final drive ratio of 7.5 multiplied by 100, that gives you 750 foot-pounds of torque at the wheel. Um, whereas in our Model 3, we have a final drive of 9, so that 100 foot-pounds is actually being converted to 900 foot-pounds. And so just to make an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, um, I'm going to go ahead and set our final drive ratio in our hypothetical Model 3 Plaid to 7.5, uh, just to match the current plaid powertrain. So I've gone ahead and set up a drag race with our Model 3 plaid and a Model S plaid. Uh, it's going to be a drag race simulation and we're going to see what this thing does with our lowered final drive ratio of 7.5. So as you can see 0 to 60 in two and a half seconds that's with uh, one foot rollout subtracted and then we get 9.9 .9 in the quarter mile. So it's a little bit slower than our higher final drive ratio version, um, but I think it's a better comparison. I'm not going to go into detail about final drive ratios and all the things they affect and, and what it really means and why um, like a manufacturer would pick a certain final drive ratio in a car, but there's some great videos and content online. I know Engineering Explained has a great video on final drive ratios, so if you're curious to learn more about that, um, go check it out and, and do learn more about that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to say we're going to keep apples to apples the 7.5 final drive ratio. Okay, we've reached the final stage. We're putting the full Model S Plaid powertrain in a Model 3. So 
We have the full tri-motor setup, 1,050 foot-pounds of torque, 1,020 horsepower, and the car only weighs 3,800 pounds. So let's see what this thing will do. So same 0 to 60, it's struggling for traction. It's basically traction limited, but then it's just going to keep pulling. So um, that less weight is a huge factor. We can see we're, we're getting well into the 8s, 8.8 at 163. So yeah, that this last car is kind of unrealistic but it goes to show maybe what a future um top of the line model might look like with some with a thousand pounds stripped out essentially this is like a 3800 pound model s plaid you could think of it like that i think it's interesting though because if a if they make a model 3 performance too fast then people stop buying the top of the line models like even a model s long range so i think this car if if they produce it um, probably in the next few years, it won't come in too much faster than the Model S long range. Um, and so I think a, a realistic setup is something like the second setup I showed you where you have the, uh, dual motor, it's still dual motor, but you have the, um, like the, the, the plaid motor in the front and the rear. So it's creating like, it's like 700 horsepower. Um, and you're seeing like just barely dipping into the nines. Um, in the quarter mile. So before I wrap this video up, I want to show you guys one more thing and that's top speed. So we know that plaid is limited to 200 miles an hour, but we also know that the motor RPMs, they're talking about going to at least 20,000 or even above 20,000 RPMs. And so I just want to show you guys what this kind of car looks like if you just strip off the limiters and see let it go to its max rpm so i went ahead and set up a um 100 mile an hour starting speed drag race with the model s plaid so i stripped off the speed limiter it just has the 20,000 rpm um red line i guess you could call it even though it's an ev and so you can see it's just pulling like crazy up to and past 200 miles an hour um and then it's gonna finally stop once it hits 20,000 rpm um at 222 miles an hour so i mean yeah this car just has a ton in it i know there's been rumors of the motors being able to go past 20,000 rpm so um yeah software updates whatever sort of updates this car has way more in it um but it's just a cool cool little experiment to see thanks for watching if you made it to this point um i appreciate it and i hope you're enjoying the content um please drop a like and feel free to subscribe if you're not already um, we went through a few different variations of this uh, Model 3 Plaid and some of them unrealistic, but nonetheless, it was cool to see see the results. Uh, if you want to make your own matchups or check out cars, um, go to motormatchup.com. That's what I use in these videos and you can set up your own races and look at exactly what I'm looking at. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.